Spiraling trade tensions between the U.S. and China have seen the former's agricultural products taking flack. Nowhere was this clearer than at the recent Food and Beverage Innovation Forum in Shanghai, the most influential gathering of its kind in Asia. Thierry Grippon, a Frenchman now resident in Canada's eastern province of Quebec, had come to the forum to sell soy as president of SG Serresco Inc., a Montreal-based seller of, modified, of grains and soybeans. Grippon is becoming a grudging admirer of US President Donald Trump, whom he credits for nobbling his biggest, firm's biggest competitor, the US. The Canadian soybeans Grippon displayed are welcomed with open arms in China, the world's largest consumer of the legume, while US suppliers are afraid to even ship theirs under the threat of the looming tit-for-tat sanctions, Beijing is warning in retaliation for the US administration's threatened punitive tariffs on Chinese products. Each party, the USA and China, is playing a game. Who is the strongest? Probably at the end then, there'll be an agreement. But up to now, it is affecting the business of the Americans, definitely, Crepon said. Chinese buyers are reluctant to make a commitment with Americans. With Canadians, they have no problem, he added. China's soybean imports from the US, United States dropped 27% annually in March, while imports from Brazil rose by one-third, and from new partner Russia doubled, reflecting the US-China trade tip, according to customs data. The country's imports of rapeseed drinks, used as organic fertilizer, from Canada skyrocketed in March, more than doubling to 107,700 tonnes. Itai Global reported earlier today. The straight trade dispute thus seems set to alter the terrain of the global agricultural sector and realign the flow of produce to China from the US to its northern and southern neighbors. US Secretary Steven Mnuchin is set to visit Beijing to talk trade Turkey, quote, in a few days, Trump announced, as news outlet CNBC reported yesterday. Perhaps this reflects a belated realization that losing the world's biggest food consuming nation as a customer would deal a body blow from which America's agriculture might never recover.